What's going on my camping friends? In this video, I'm gonna be going over how I clean my air conditioner. Now, I'm gonna take this whole top off and I'm gonna clean the condenser coils and the evaporator coils. This is something you should probably be doing maybe once, once a year, maybe once every two years, maybe once every three years. Depends on how much you camp. So if your camper's sitting in a campground all summer and it's really, really dusty, I mean, you know what it's like when everybody's running around on their golf carts. Lots of dust flying, you might want to look at it once a year. Now, if you only go camping on the weekends, you might only need to do this every two or three years. <clears throat> so first thing, I'm gonna go over some safety. Before you climb up on your roof, look at the bottom of your shoes. Make sure you don't have any stones stuck in the bottom of your shoes so you don't come up and start putting holes all through your roof. When you're climbing up your ladder to get on your roof, be careful. My camper is, well, to the top of this, it's 11 foot. So it's quite a ways down to fall off that ladder. While you're walking around on your roof, there are a lot of tripping hazards. I got my vent from my refrigerator, my skylight from my shower, vent for plumbing, and then this big thing. Before you clean your air conditioner, also check the weather, because when we open this up, and we open inside the camper, you're gonna be able to probably see right down in the camper. If it would start raining, it's gonna go right in my camper. Make sure you have your camper unplugged and all your power off so this air conditioner doesn't accidentally turn on while you're trying to wash it. And one last thing, this, in this video, I'm just showing you how to do this. So you may wanna check your manual or call an RV dealer where you bought your RV and make sure it's okay to climb on your roof. It might say in your manual, so check that first. And if that doesn't say it, like I said, just call an RV dealer. All right, and this cleaning, I'm gonna use, I just got some Dawn dish soap and I put a half a tablespoon of dish soap in here. Some people like to know how much stuff you use. So I put a half a tablespoon. I don't know if it really matters. Just put some dish soap in here and put some water in it. Now you can use that if it's not real dirty. If it's really, really, really dirty, you can buy some cleaner. Now I'm gonna put this stuff down in the description. This cleaner would help even more. But if you use this cleaner, make sure when you spray it on, you're gonna let it sit on there for three to five minutes and then you can slowly spray it off with your hose. But as soon as you're done, spray your roof off and your sides off. Cause I don't know how bad this stuff would be for your roof. I don't know if I'm gonna use this, but I just wanted to show it to you. And I got some three-in-one oil that I'm gonna maybe, while I'm in here, oil up the fan motor a little bit. And I have a little container for my screws. When I take the screws out of this top, you're gonna to probably need a screwdriver, maybe a plastic bag I'm using to cover up the hole so some of the water doesn't go down inside. Or maybe some towels, some towels might just work. I might lay them down inside and put the plastic bag up here on top just to be double safe. And I'm also gonna use my shop vac with the brush attachment on it. And a hose. Now, this new nozzle I just bought really is gonna work nice, I think. I can put this on a flat spray and I can turn down the how fast it sprays with this. I'll put that down in the description also. In case you would want to buy one of them unless you have a Kohl's nearby maybe a Kohl's would have it that's where I bought that all right let's get to tearing this apart and cleaning this air conditioner all right I'm going to take out the screws on my cover I think most of the covers usually seems like most of them only have four screws in it I have a screw here on the one on the side one on that side and two in the front That's what I got my container for, so you don't lose all your screws. this looks all right this is your condenser coils I'm just gonna take my shop back take my shop back 
vacuum this out as good as I can. And then I'm gonna spray a little bit of cleaner on there and spray in there nicely. And these towels are just for down inside my camper. Your air conditioner may not have this foam that I have over top of mine. So I'm going to have to clean my evaporator down inside. When you're vacuuming this, also be very careful of these fins. They're really thin, real fragile fins. That's why I have the brush on here. And while you're at it cleaning this out, I would look around and see if you can vacuum any more of the junk that maybe you got in here, nests or spider nest or whatever could have accumulated in here over the summer. All right, I vacuumed all this stuff out. There was dirt down here, down here. It's not too bad now. My condenser's not really that dirty. But you're most likely, a lot of them don't have this on here, so you'll be able to clean a lot more. To, to get this off of my air conditioner is a pain in the butt. But I'll show you from down inside. My condenser coils look really, really clean now. They weren't real, real bad. Now I'm gonna spray these out with some water. The water should go down here in the pan and it should start draining off your roof. And then with some of that oil, if you have some of that three-in-one oil, you can spray a couple drops of it right down in here. Keep this fan oiled up a little bit. Now, like I said, depending on how dirty yours is, you could just use some dish soap or maybe some of that cleaner like I got. That cleaner is a lot stronger, but mine is not that dirty. I just wanted to make this video to show you guys how to do this. Real simple, but if you're using that cleaner, you're going to let it sit on for a couple minutes. Then try to make your hose spray as gentle as you can so you don't get too much water in there. And some of you guys are going to have a big hole right here. That's why I was showing you that plastic bag. You're going to want to take that plastic bag and cover your hole up. Or maybe even some towels to cover the hole up. And I would put somebody maybe down in your camper to make sure you're not getting tons of water all over. Now I can take this water and I'm going to kind of spray it down so it goes right down into the pan of this. run right off my camper. All right, I'm going to take paper towel and try to clean off the shaft a little bit and put a little bit new oil down inside there of this fan probably try to wipe some of these blades off too if you want while you're in here
nice just to try to put a little couple dabs of oil in there because sometimes these motors will seize up and you'll think your air conditioner is broke. You just try to keep that from getting corroded. Should be good to go. All right, I'm gonna put this cover back on and go inside. Before you're done with everything, you might wanna spray off your roof a little bit and get some of that dirt or whatever you got all over your roof off of it. This is your air conditioner inside. It's a little hot in here because I can't have my air conditioner on. But you can take this little flap out. Here's another thing you. Everybody should have this little foam piece in there, which mine is a little dirty. This is something you could be doing cleaning this every time you go camping. Just take that out, run it through some water, and run all that dirt off of there and then put it back in. And if that looks really, really bad, you could just get a new one at your RV center. All right, I'm gonna take this whole cover off so we can see inside. Okay. Right up inside there, those are my evaporator coils. Most of you guys should be able to clean them from the outside and maybe a little bit the inside. Um, but like I said, when I was up there, my air conditioner is, I guess I shouldn't complain, it's actually a really nice air conditioner because it has that big piece of insulated foam over the top, so it helps. But I am going to just try to put my shop back up there and vacuum some of that out is all I'm going to do. <clears throat> some of the ones, and I'll put some, I'll put a couple pictures of some, what they look like without the foam over the top. And you'll see what I mean. It's a little bit easier to clean. Here's a picture of a different air conditioner on the top of a camper. This is what yours could look like. You could take a couple screws out of that metal box and be able to clean your evaporator a lot easier from the roof if yours looks like this. Here's a picture with the box taken off the evaporator on the roof. And there's the hole that you might want to put a plastic bag over or a towel so you don't get water down inside just in case you do yours this way. Now while you're up in here, most of you guys with campers and air conditioners, you'll probably be able to see some of the wood. Well, I can see some of my wood up here. It doesn't, doesn't hurt to look around in here and inspect a little bit if you see any water damage. I can see the wood up in here. from That's on the roof, and this is on my ceiling down here. But if you're starting to see any water damage up in there, you might want to Take it to a professional and have them check your roof out or see if, why your seal, your seal around your air conditioner may be leaking. But let's clean out this filter. that's it for cleaning your filter out then maybe just let it dry and put it back in if you clean that every time you go camping or at least every two or three times you go camping that'll help keep your air conditioner cleaner 
All right, let's put this back together. When you're putting these screws in, just don't put them in real tight till you get to the end. And then also they don't have to be real tight. Just snug them up. That way if you're off a little bit, you can get each one of the screws to line up with the hole real easy. careful when taking these caps out as careful as you can be put your filter and your cover back on all right once you get it all put back together you may want to plug your camper in and try your air conditioner out make sure it's everything's working fine you make just make sure you didn't bump any wires or unplug anything that way when you get out camping, you, you ain't sitting in a hot campground wondering why your air conditioner is not working. But if you just take your time and clean that out, you should be fine. And if you're at home and you gotta plug this into a 110 outlet, just a normal 20 amp 110 outlet, just remember, the only thing you're gonna be able to turn on is your air conditioner. And before I, before I forget, please hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button just to help support my channel. I also have, at the time of me recording this video, I have eight more videos on cleaning your roof, cleaning your awning, and there's a couple other ones there too. So watch some of them videos. All right, let's try this thing out. Let's sit in here for a while, have a beer. See if it works. Ooh. Sounds like it's working good. So hopefully it blows nice cool air. Well, it looks like it's working good. It's blowing nice cool air. I'm ready to go out and have a nice cool camping trip. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope you have a many good weekends of camping with nice cool AC. Please watch all my other videos, even if you've been camping for years. Some of them may give you some other tricks. I know every time I watch any of these videos on YouTube, sometimes I learn new stuff. So please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps my videos out. And please leave a comment down below. That also helps my videos out. And hit that subscribe button to help support me. Thank you very much. God bless and happy camping.